sometimes we can deal immediately with a major meltdown. It means perhaps you need to remove that child from the situation because they're highly sensitive, they're highly distracted, and their mm -hmm. emotional state is such they kind of can't seem to get it together on their own, right? That's when you play the real loving parent and you go in and that's, again, Christian Parenting 101. You know, it's, honey, I, I see you're really upset, but let's go through, you know, when's the last time you ate? And, you know, no, the Lord really loves you. And, you know, just assure them that that they are loved because they're struggling, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, and I can just picture one of my children literally just seeming to go from zero to 10 and all of a sudden it's like, oh, you know, everything's horrible and everyone hates me and I'm fat, I'm ugly, or, you know, just a, yeah. a rant of things that aren't truth, but yeah. they are to them, right? Sure. So anyway, and I also will say this about the, about major meltdowns is I think our tendency as parents is to want to play a cheerleader. Like, oh no, honey, you're not this, you're not that, you're this, you're that. But sometimes a real melter to a real melter, that makes it worse. Right. If you try to cheerlead them out of it, it's just yeah. this peculiarity because then they're thinking, oh, you didn't hear them. Right. Right. You don't <laughs> understand really do. what they're going yeah, through. You don't understand and it gets yeah. 